We have, in the past two years, been advocating that you employ the barbell strategy in your portfolio. What is barbell to us? It means to take outsized positions in two areas of focus. On one end, income generating assets, double B, triple B bonds, dividend yielding stocks like Singapore REITs, Singapore banks, China banks, European integrated oil companies, who together will give you about 4% income every year. The other outsized position is to take into your portfolio growth boosters. Companies that ride on secular, long-term, irreversible growth trends. And here, we have an acronym, IDEA kind of companies that you should be invested in. So what is IDEA? IDEA stands for Innovators, Disruptors, Enablers, Adapters. A great example of an innovator is Apple. Since the late Steve Jobs launched the first iPhone, the first smartphone in 2007, our lives have changed. The way we work, play, live across all humanity. Today, we are all glued to our little screens every time, everywhere. And since the launch, Apple share price has gone up 30x. Disruptors, Amazon and Alibaba are clearly disruptors in the retail industry. Uber, Grab in transportation, the recently listed Airbnb in hospitality, leisure industry, which upon the day of listing became more valuable than the combined Marriott, Hilton and Hyatt. Enablers, these are cloud services companies, the likes of Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, who provide infrastructure as a service powered by cutting-edge semiconductor chips from the likes of AMD, NVIDIA, Qualcomm, Broadcom, Taiwan Semiconductor, that will enable 5G, Internet of Things, autonomous vehicles with high speed and low latency connections. Now, what are adapters? Adapters are traditional companies that successfully adapt to this new digital economy. Walmart target in the US retail industry. Visa, MasterCard carried with them a legacy infrastructure that was threatened by online payment platforms and fintechs. They adapted to the e-commerce trends by opening up their platform to fellow competitors the likes of PayPal, Google Pay, Apple Pay. So even one day when these plastic cards would disappear, Visa and MasterCard will stay relevant, in fact, highly profitable by being ubiquitous at the back end of the global payment system. Making the transfer, the sending and receiving of money around the world seamless. They have adapted so well that today their market value have overtaken the large US money center banks, including JP Morgan. The efficacy of a barbell strategy is demonstrated in the performance of our portfolio, which registered a return of 19% in 2020, and has outperformed the underlying benchmark of a 50% equity, 50% bond index by more than 600 basis points. 